guys, Jens Gaming here, and we are back with another video. Finally, we're in season two. Thank the Lord, season one was not the best season. As you can tell, a lot of people were not having fun. But hey, with a new season, we do have new guns. And with a new season, we do have nerfs and buffs of guns. So in today's video, I'm bringing you guys the top meta loadout guns to be using in the rebirth. Like I said, continuously with rebirth. You can use a lot of old guns that were overpowered or were meta or were dominant you know what i'm saying you can still use them um but yeah with today's game uh, sorry not gameplay with today's video i also did put the patch notes of the guns that are in the video for example the mp40 did catch a nerf so i just pretty much just put a little screenshot of what they did to the gun but if you guys do enjoy make sure you guys drop a like comment share subscribe and uh let's hope season two is a banger all right, y'all, so getting right into, we got the C58. Now the C58 did make a little comeback. I believe Jay got said the TTK was really, really good. So you see a lot of pro people uh, manning it. A lot of people are just manning it. And I was like, you know what? This definitely has to go in the top meta loadout. So this is the class for anyone who was wondering. All right, y'all, next I had to throw on the M13. I don't know what it is, but the M13 is amazing. At first, it was definitely a peace shooter. You did not want to use this gun but i feel like they did like subtle buffs to this gun and it is absolutely amazing like i was having fun whenever i was you know trying to get a gameplay with the m13 this is definitely a fun gun and this is definitely the class you want to rock with the m13 of course i had to put the em2 on the list the em2 at some point in time was taking over um warzone and then it cut that little nerf no one was using it but now i'm here to say that you can definitely use the em2 this gun feels just like normal it feels absolutely amazing it's still um you know still a beamer still does damage and uh yeah i have to add this to the list all right now this was a gun i was a little bit scared to put on there but the xm4 as an ar if y'all haven't tried it before, y'all definitely have to try it out. I was sleeping on this gun heavy, and when I first used it, I was like, oh my god, this Jordan has almost no recoil. If there is any recoil, it's at a long distance range, but this gun is a straight beamer. So if y'all have ever wanted to use the XM4, this is a class you want to try out. All right, y'all, so I definitely had to throw on a Vanguard gun. I feel like I was showing too much love to uh cold war mw but the cooper carbine if it does not get touched again is definitely a go-to i enjoy using this gun a lot uh, even the little nerf that they did to the gun this gun still beams and this is the class i run when it comes to vanguard guns you already know different attachments for this gun work differently like you can throw on literally a different muzzle a different underbarrel to each of their own with these Vanguard guns. Last on my ARs list, and that is the SCG. Now, at first, I was a little bit, you know, I was a little bit worrisome on putting this gun on the list, but I have seen a lot of people rocking the STG, and it did catch a little bit of a buff, and, you know, using it the second time, I definitely felt it. I really did enjoy using this gun, and I know a lot of people would main this gun. Honestly, there are just so many ARs that could be used on Rebirth Island. It's really hard to choose, like, the top meta, but honestly, I feel like this is a pretty good selection. Um, like I said with Rebirth, there's such a vast variety, but let's go ahead and get into some of the SMGs. All right, y'all, obviously starting off with the SMGs, we do have the MP40 now. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm pretty sure they will do a little bit of a nerfing to this gun. They already did nerf the hip fire of the MP40 previously, but the MP40 was still killing shit. But I'm not gonna lie, they shouldn't really worry too much about the MP40 because there are other guns that will outgun it. <laughs> It, honestly, I feel like it depends on the player, you know what I'm saying? But also, we have to deal with a uh, skill-based hit reg, so who knows? But this is the class that I use for the MP40. With the MP40, a lot of people run different stuff, but this is definitely the class that I've been seeing a lot of pros use. The underbarrel might be different, but this is definitely the class you want to be rocking. All right, y'all, I had to throw on the Omen oh gun, man. I don't know what it is. I've been seeing a lot of pro players using the Owen gun. I feel like we have to give our thanks to Biffle for creating this class or just really putting the Owen gun 
you know, on the market. Now, Rebirth Island, if you've ever picked the Owen gun up as ground loot, you know you're good to go. You will definitely win a gunfight. I know when I'm looking for a gun, I'm either looking for an MP4 or an Owen gun. And, you know, I'm really hoping to see the Owen gun be used more, but who knows? But this is the class y'all definitely want to be using. Oh, I have to throw in the Cold War MP5. Come on now, a lot of people are saying the Cold War MP5 is competing with the MP40, vice versa. I don't know what it is, but the one, the couple of games that I did use the Cold War MP5, AI went absolutely crazy. I think I dropped like 26, or I dropped something really crazy with this gun and it felt amazing. It felt like it never got touched, to be honest. And I, I really hope they don't mess with the Cold War MP5 too much because like I said, it is really fun being able to go back to these old metas or go back to these old um, guns that were popular and still be able to use them on the island. But uh, this is the Cold War MP5 class that I've been rocking with. Some people might use a barrel, some people might not use no underbarrel, but hey, to each of their own, this is my class right here. Okay, on next on the list is the well gun. Now, I do want to mention for the ammunition, I would actually put it in city rounds, but for some odd reason, I have <laughs> I have a gut feeling they are definitely going to nerf in city rounds or they're going to do something or something's gonna come and be a little bit better than instant e rounds but this is the class to be using for the well gun um i know when it came out a lot of people thought they would be using that OB over the mp40 but honestly like i said it's just been a variety i feel like to each of their own whoever can win the gunfight first you know what i'm saying i've seen people use the freaking bison versus the mp40 and the bison is uh you know winning like i said it's just personal preference to each of their own but uh i had to add this gun to the list because i have been seeing a lot of people using this gun hey y'all y'all know i had to add my baby the freaking bullfrog don't sleep on the bullfrog please i'd be i'd be doing some crazy stuff like i said you can definitely still use this gun like i said i feel like you know top 10 you know i try to do five and five i feel like i just there's just like i said so many guns you know what i'm saying this is just personally what i believe are you know the metal loadout guns and what i've seen people use but like i said people are just people just be using crazy stuff sometimes you know what i'm saying it's really hard and i think that's the one thing i like about rebirth island is that you can just use um old guns that were nerfed that were previously good and you know you can still use them on rebirth island like i feel like with certain guns they do do a little bit of a buffing so that it's not as bad as it was but you know i don't know man it's raven software they literally have admitted that they have effed up i'll go ahead and pull the tweet up right here but uh yeah, this is the Bullfrog class. All right, y'all, before I head out, a little honorable, honorable mention, the OTS-9, a lot of people, even when the integration came, they were not touching no Vanguard SMGs. They were still using the OTS-9. And honestly, this is the class that has worked for me. Um, yeah, this is just a little honorable mention before I head out. Um, I know there are some other guns that I could have mentioned, but hey, I don't have the time for it. I can only do top five and I just did what worked for me and what I've seen other people using and what I've been seeing on Rebirth Island. So if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys do drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.